If we're not married, why are we wearing matching rings? Perhaps you like the same cereal. A walking miracle of modern science. And I'll remember what my wife said, which is to get over it and move on. Hollywood love stories are often short-lived and doomed to end in scandalous breakups, but not all of them. Some rare couples have overcome the challenges and temptations of fame and stayed together through thick and thin. One of them is the charming NCIS star Mark Harmon and the lovely Mork and Mindy star Pam Dauber. Despite the ups and downs of their careers, the joys and struggles of parenthood, and the twists and turns of life, they have remained loyal and loving to each other. And now Mark has disclosed a stunning secret about their relationship. Let's dive in. Hollywood Golden Couples. Let's take a stroll down memory lane of TV's hottest it couples in the 80s. But before we dive into their captivating love story, let's get to know these two remarkable individuals a little better. First up, we have the dashing Mark Harmon. Born on September 2, 1951 in Burbank, California, Mark is best known for his role of a doctor on the long-running show Saint Elsewhere, as well as his roles on Chicago Hope and NCIS. And let's not forget that in 1985, Mark was crowned People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. Quite the accolade, wouldn't you say? Now let's talk about Mark's love life. It seems that women everywhere were swooning over him, but Mark had his sights set on finding that special someone. I'm real monogamous by nature, and I'm fine being alone like I am now, he once confessed. When I marry, I want it to be everything this town says it can't be. I'm not into catting around. A man of principle, indeed. But did you know that before his acting career took off, Mark Harmon dabbled in carpentry, lifeguarding, and even college football? And here's a fun fact. He turned down an offer to play in the NFL. Talk about a man of many talents. And now, let's shine the spotlight on the lovely Pam Dauber. Born on October 18, 1951, in Detroit, Pam rose to fame as the human romantic interest of Robin Williams' alien character on Mork and Mindy. The chemistry between them was simply out of this world. After the show ended, Pam continued to grace our screens with her talent in various made-for-TV movies and the TV show My Sister Sam. It was during her time on My Sister Sam that she crossed paths with her future husband, Mark Harmon. It's amazing how time and destiny work hand-in-hand, hand, isn't it? But did you know that Pam is a spokeswoman for Big Brothers Big Sisters America? Her compassionate nature must have been part of what drew Mark to her all those years ago. But just before these two lovebirds found each other, fate had a little unpleasant adventure in store for Pam. Love after heartbreak. They say that you have to kiss a few frogs before you find your prince, and for Pam Dauber, this cliché couldn't be more true. Before meeting her forever man, she had her fair share of bad luck in love. Admitting to a few less-than-stellar love affairs, Dauber also struggled with her confidence, seeking solace in therapy. But then fate intervened, and she found herself face to face with her prince Charming. Drawing up a long list of qualities she desired in a partner, Dauber's prayers were answered when she met Harmon. When asked if she had found all the qualities in him, she coyly replied, Well, I guess so before gushing, he's fabulous. As if it were written in the stars, their destined connection was set in motion. In March 1986, a friend of Harmon's offered to introduce him to Dauber on a group date. But being the suave gentleman that he is, Harmon opted to make a bold move and call her directly. Little did he know that this phone call would change the course of his life forever. When Dauber failed to answer the call, Harmon left a charming voice message suggesting a casual coffee date. And lo and behold, she actually called back. The rest, as they say, is history. The sparks flew from the moment they met, and they've been inseparable ever since. Despite their instant connection, Harmon and Dauber managed to keep their budding romance under wraps. Even as Harmon was crowned People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive, and Dauber wrapped up her iconic role on Mork and Mindy, they kept their love out of the limelight. Their ability to keep their relationship private undoubtedly played a crucial role in the longevity of their 30-plus year marriage. In a 1987 interview, Dauber made it clear that they weren't trying to keep their love a secret, but rather shield it from the prying eyes of the press. 
If you don't want it totally exploited by the press, you have to be discreet, she said. It's no surprise that Dauber had a list of qualities she sought in a partner, including strength, intelligence, independence, sensitivity, sensuousness, warmth, and a sense of humor. And it's even less surprising that Harmon checked off every box and then some. Their compatibility was evident from the start, and it's no wonder they've stood the test of time. And by the summer of that year, something truly remarkable happened. The Engagement Well, we already know it all started with a fateful introduction in March 1986. Then sparks flew, the chemistry sizzled, and before anyone knew it, Hollywood had its newest golden couple. After just a few months of dating, Harmon and Dauber took the plunge and got engaged. Talk about fast-tracking to forever. And while the news of their engagement made headlines, this dynamic duo made sure to keep the juicy details of their relationship under wraps. Privacy in Hollywood? You'd agree that's a rare gem. But of course, even with their best efforts to keep things hush-hush, the rumor mill was working overtime. Because let's face it, when you're as fabulous as Mark and Pam, people just can't help but talk. Secret celebrity wedding rumors? That's so last century. Long before Miley and Liam, there was Mark and Pam, causing a stir with whispers of a clandestine wedding. But Dauber shut down those rumors with a quick-witted quip. It must have been a slow news week. Why would we be secretly married? What would be the point? The real reason behind all the speculation was simple. Harmon and Dauber were pros at keeping their private life private. In an era where every move of a celebrity is captured and dissected, these two managed to keep a low profile then, just as they do now. And you know what happens when a couple is rumored to have tied the knot? Cue the naysayers predicting their imminent breakup. But guess what? Harmon and Dauber were unfazed by the gossip. They were too busy being adorable together to bother about the noise around them. And then, the moment everyone had been waiting for arrived. Love beyond the spotlight. When it comes to Hollywood couples, Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber are the epitome of love beyond the spotlight. These seasoned celebrities may have had their fair share of fame, but when it came to tying the knot, they opted for a quiet and personal affair. No grand gestures or flashy ceremonies for these two lovebirds. In 1987, Dauber expressed her desire for a low-key wedding, citing her aversion to the over-the-top spectacle that often accompanies celebrity nuptials. She didn't want a repeat of Julianne and Bruce Springsteen's wedding, which was infamously gate-crashed by a fleet of helicopters. We're not talking Springsteen here, she quipped, but if we choose a big church, everyone will find out about it. All of a sudden, we'll have entertainment tonight out there with microphones. Just a year after they first met, Harmon and Dauber exchanged their vows in a small and intimate ceremony at Harmon's old school, Harvard School in the San Fernando Valley. The newlyweds then jetted off to Vancouver for a dreamy honeymoon, basking in the glow of their newfound marital bliss. Fast forward over three decades, and this Hollywood power couple is still going strong. Despite the notorious fickleness of Tinseltown romances, Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber have defied the odds and maintained a rock-solid marriage. What's their secret, you ask? Well, it seems that embracing their differences has been a key ingredient in their recipe for lasting love. Harmon revealed in a 2019 interview that when he considered taking on a role in the 1987 film Summer School, Dauber was initially against the idea. But instead of letting it drive a wedge between them, they used it as an opportunity to appreciate each other's unique perspectives. We don't generally like the same thing, and that's been healthy for us, actually, Harmon mused. It seems that opposites do attract, especially when it comes to keeping the spark alive in a Hollywood romance. And let's not forget Pam Dauber's glowing praise for her doting husband. In 2021, she gushed to Entertainment Weekly about Harmon's unwavering support and generosity. My husband is so supportive of me. He's just a giving, great guy. He just gives me girls, you know? It's clear that these two have mastered the art of lifting each other up and celebrating their differences, making their love story all the more enchanting. With over three decades of love and companionship under their belts, this power couple has set the bar high for celebrity relationships. They are a truly solid, no-drama couple. They are best friends who respect each other and are truly devoted to each other a mutual friend spilled to Closer Weekly in 2019. 
It's no wonder that they have become the gold standard for enduring love in Tinseltown. Despite Mark Harmon's impressive net worth of $120 million, as reported by Celebrity Net Worth, the couple leads surprisingly normal lives. They value their privacy and prefer to spend quality time together at home, away from the prying eyes of the public and the paparazzi. Unlike many other celebrities, Harmon steers clear of social media and opts for a low-profile existence, and it seems that his lovely wife, Pam Dauber, shares the same sentiment. It's not even a choice, Harmon confessed to TV Insider in 2017. It's who we are. We stay home. A lot. I'm not a Twitter guy or a Facebook guy. Our sons aren't into that either. Pam and I have both made a living in this business, and still there's a part of that that's just not natural. Speaking of their sons, Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber have two of them. Sean, born in 1988, and Ty, born in 1992. While Sean has dabbled in acting with a handful of credits to his name, including a stint on NCIS, the couple deliberately shielded their children from the harsh spotlight of fame. Notice you don't see us in the magazines, Dauber pointed out to Entertainment Tonight. When you're married, that's real life. And to go and plaster your kids... I'm sorry, I'm not for that. Dauber has made it clear that she isn't particularly keen on sharing her past work with her sons, preferring instead to focus on their own endeavors. I'm just their mom, she declared to Entertainment Tonight. They don't care about what I did, they care about what they are doing. They want their parents to care about what they are doing. Looking ahead, this dynamic duo has some adventurous plans in store. The NCIS star and his leading lady have invested in a trailer, perfect for escaping the hustle and bustle of city life. But as with any couple, they've had to navigate through some tough decisions that could test even the strongest of marriages. A pause in the limelight. When it comes to Hollywood power couples, there's no denying that Dauber and Harmon take the cake. From their early days in the spotlight to their current status as one of Tinseltown's most enduring pairs, this dynamic duo has captured the hearts of fans and critics alike. Another thing that is no secret is that Harmon has emerged as the bigger star of the two. But what's the real story behind their journey to fame and family? Let's take a closer look at how this Hollywood power couple has managed to keep the spark alive both on and off the screen. When Dauber made the bold decision to shift gears and prioritize family life, some may have raised an eyebrow. But for Dauber, it was a no-brainer. The desire to spend quality time with her children, Sean and Ty, as well as with Harmon, was at the forefront of her mind. And let's be real, who can blame her? In a town where marriages can crumble under the pressures of stardom, Dauber's choice to put her career on the back burner was a refreshing and admirable move. But it wasn't just about carpool duties and school festivals. Dauber also had her eye on the bigger picture. She was determined not to let her career overshadow her marriage. As she aptly put it, I don't think two people can work all the time in show business and stay married. And she's got a point. With a resume that boasts everything from Broadway to cartoon voices, Dauber had already conquered the entertainment world. It was time for a new chapter, one that revolved around family and fulfillment. And let's not forget about Harmon. While he may be the face of NCIS, he's quick to acknowledge the invaluable role that Dauber plays behind the scenes. Her dedication to running the household has allowed him to focus on his craft, and he's not shy about expressing his gratitude. After all, behind every successful man is a powerhouse woman holding down the fort. But it wasn't just Dauber who made sacrifices. Harmon also made a conscious effort to seek out projects that would keep him close to home, recognizing that no job is worth missing life's most important moments. It's this mutual understanding and support that has undoubtedly strengthened their bond over the years. Their hit series, when Mark Harmon decided to take a step back from the spotlight to spend more time with his family, little did he know that fate had something else in store for him. He received the script for a show called NCIS, a thrilling series about the Naval Criminal Investigative Service. Harmon was immediately impressed with the often humorous script, as well as the character Leroy Jethro Gibbs. For a moment, when I started getting interested in doing it, the name changed to Bob Nelson or something, and I just said, Hey, please, can you put the name back? He recalled. And thank goodness he did, because the rest is history. 
NCIS made its debut in September 2003 and it was an instant hit. Building off the success of the naval legal drama, JAG NCIS captured the attention of millions of viewers from the very first episode. The series quickly became one of the most watched shows in the world, with fans tuning in each week to see what thrilling adventures awaited their favorite characters. Even with the overwhelming success of NCIS, Mark Harmon found it hard to believe just how popular the show had become. It's hard to walk through airports even in the most out-of-the-way places without being surrounded by people who love the show, and that's nothing to complain about. I've done TV shows where I walk through airports apologizing, he quipped. It's safe to say that NCIS has certainly left a lasting impression on audiences everywhere. While Mark Harmon may have been the face of the hit show NCIS, it wasn't just him who stole the spotlight. Pam Dauber, his real-life leading lady, made a triumphant return to television alongside her husband of 34 years. Now that their kids are all grown up, Pam decided it was time to show the world what she's made of once again. And what better way to do that than alongside her supportive and talented husband? Harmon's dedication to NCIS was unwavering, but Dauber also made her mark on the show. In 2021, she graced our screens in seven episodes as the fierce and seasoned investigative journalist Marcy Warren. It's safe to say that she brought her A-game to the role, proving that she's a force to be reckoned with in the world of television. But it wasn't just about the professional accolades for Dauber. Working alongside her beloved husband was a thrill in itself. She made it clear that she wasn't interested in a role that revolved around romantic interests. But the opportunity to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Harmon on screen was an experience like no other. In her own words, My husband is so supportive of me, he's just a giving great guy. He just gives me atta girls, you know? It's fun because Gibbs grunts out a lot of lines. He doesn't give a lot, so they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's clear that their dynamic on screen mirrored their real-life relationship, and fans couldn't get enough of their chemistry. Their characters may have had an oddball relationship on screen, but there's nothing odd about Harmon and Dauber's relationship in real life. Their love and support for each other both on and off screen is truly something to admire, and it's no wonder they've captured the hearts of audiences around the world. Dauber's return to NCIS was initially meant to be a brief stint, with her character set to appear in just four episodes. However, her undeniable talent and charm led to her making an appearance in seven episodes, much to the delight of fans. It was back to TV with a bang for Dauber, and we couldn't be happier to see her shine once again. In a candid interview with Entertainment Weekly, Dauber didn't hold back when explaining why it took her so long to make her debut on NCIS. In her characteristic no-beating-around-the-bush manner, she quipped, The show has been on for a hundred years, and they have come at me a few times. Either I just didn't want to do it, or I didn't appreciate what it was they wanted me to do, or it was near Christmas and it was like, I can't do this, I've got my parents coming into town. Her honesty and wit are just some of the reasons why fans adore her. As for Harmon, his dedication to NCIS and his unwavering talent have solidified his status as a Hollywood icon. His on-screen presence is unmatched, and his portrayal of Gibbs has become legendary in its own right. The fact that he got to share the screen with his real-life leading lady only added to the magic of the show, Family Matters. You see, Mark Harmon's sister, Kristen Nelson, was once married to the legendary singer, Ricky Nelson. Together, they had four children, Tracy, Gunner, Matthew, and Sam. It was the epitome of a Hollywood fairy tale, until it took a tragic turn. According to the New York Daily News, Kristen and Ricky divorced in 1982, and just three years later, Ricky tragically died in a plane crash at the young age of 45. But this is where our Hollywood power couple steps in. In 1987, Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber swooped in like the heroes they are and sought custody of Sam, who was just 12 years old at the time and the only minor among his siblings. They felt that Sam's mother wasn't fit to take care of him, and they were determined to provide him with the love and stability he deserved. Now, here's where the plot thickens. Harmon had already worked his magic on his sister, convincing her to check into rehab to treat her drug dependency. And guess what? She did it. During this time, Sam found himself in the loving care of Harmon and Dauber. And after witnessing their unwavering dedication to Sam's well-being, they decided to seek permanent custody. 
I was feeling very proud and happy because I had just very successfully completed a program to help myself, Kristen said. Suddenly, I had two hours to find a lawyer who would help me keep my son. At first, I thought it was a joke, and I wondered, where's the punchline? But just when you thought this Hollywood saga couldn't get any more dramatic, Harmon ultimately decided to give up on the bid for custody. Sam's coming home, Kristen said simply when walking out of court with her brother. And that's how the Hollywood power couple of Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber showed their unwavering support for family, even in the midst of Tinseltown drama. They may be known for their on-screen talents, but it's their off-screen actions that truly make them the ultimate Hollywood power couple. Financial Disparity With a reported net worth of $100 million, Mark Harmon is undoubtedly a heavyweight in the industry, while Pam Dauber's impressive $10 million is nothing to scoff at. Despite the financial disparity, these two have proven that love and support conquer all. Harmon's staggering net worth is largely attributed to his role as Leroy Jethro Gibbs on the hit TV show NCIS, where he rakes in a jaw-dropping $525,000 per episode. With over 425 episodes under his belt, it's no wonder he's swimming in dough. But let's not forget the real hero behind the scenes, Pam Dauber. The Harmon-Dauber duo. While Harmon may be known for his on-screen heroics, it's his off-screen bravery that truly shines. When faced with a real-life emergency, Harmon didn't hesitate to spring into action. After witnessing a car crash near their home, he fearlessly rescued two teens from the burning vehicle. But as humble as ever, Harmon credits his swift response to none other than his wife, Pam Dauber. According to him, it was her quick thinking and encouragement that propelled him into action. In Harmon's own words, none of that happens without Pam walking up the street and investigating it further. He goes on to explain how Dauber rushed to the scene of the accident upon hearing the commotion, urging him to intervene. And intervene he did, smashing the car window with a sledgehammer and pulling the teens to safety. It's clear that behind every great man is an even greater woman. And in this case, that woman is Pam Dauber. Vow renewal. 2017 was a year of trials and tribulations for Mark Harmon, but through it all, his rock, Pam, stood by his side. After a knee surgery and the loss of a dear friend, the couple decided to celebrate their 30th anniversary with a vow renewal that left everyone in awe. With only a select few in attendance at their California home, Mark and Pam exchanged heartfelt vows that brought tears to the eyes of all present. According to a close source, it was a rare occasion for Mark to take a day off, but spending the afternoon with Pam was all he needed. The decision to renew their vows wasn't just about the milestone anniversary, but also a testament to their unwavering support for each other during tough times. Here's to many more years of love, laughter, and unwavering support from this remarkable duo. Thanks for watching. For a more thrilling story, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen.